I'm Jen, and this is Prague, the heart of Europe, and my adopted home. Subscribe to get an American's take on this enchanting city and all things Czech. Welcome to the adventure. Ahoy Vashikni. Today I have a video for all of you foreigners who are just dying to throw off the shackles of lockdown and book your first trip to Europe. And of course you're gonna come to Prague. Now as a foreigner who's been living in the Czech Republic for nine years, I want to act as your ambassador um, so you don't have to make the same mistakes that I and my friends did. And that way you fit in like a local and you have the best time. So in honor of the almost second anniversary of the Czechs defeating COVID, here are 28, 29, 31, 30. Here are a few dozen things that you should not do when you come to this country. Don't call this country Czechoslovakia. I know it just rolls right off the tongue, but about 30 years ago, Czechoslovakia split into two separate countries, the Slovak Republic and the Czech Republic, known affectionately as Slovakia and Czechia. But you're still part of Russia. Don't make any references to Czechia being Russian. But you used to be Russia. No, but you speak Russian. No, but your president is Russian. Well, don't think Prague represents all of Czechia. You wouldn't send a New Yorker to represent all that's America. <laughs> Certainly not an Angelino. If you want to know different facets of Czech culture, then go to places outside of Prague. Don't call Czechia Eastern Europe. This is a touchy subject with political implications. Remember what I said about Russia? Stick to what you see on a map, which is that Czechia is in the dead center of Europe and call it Central Europe. Don't ask a Czech, how are you, unless you really want to know. The Czechs don't quite understand that asking someone, how are you, is just an American formality, and they will give you an honest answer. So unless you wanna know about their noisy neighbors and their bum knee and the crappy weather, just stick to, nice to meet you. Don't walk into someone's home with your shoes on, even if they insist. This is a trick to see how uncivilized your culture is. Make your mother proud and take off your shoes. Don't ask where the bathroom is. Most Czech bathrooms are divided into two separate rooms, one with the bath and shower and one with the toilet. So unless you plan to take a shower, ask for the toilet. Don't take cabs. I know public transportation in another country can be intimidating, but Prague has the best public transportation in Europe. It's clean, it's safe, and mostly always on time. It's even very easy to take from the airport. Don't ride the public transportation without buying a ticket and validating it. You can buy the tickets when you arrive at the airport. A three-day pass costs $15 and you validate it on your first ride. Ticket inspectors will pop out of nowhere to check your validated ticket, so don't try to scam the system. If you don't have one, you'll pay a fine on the spot. Don't get on the tram, metro, or bus until you've given time and space for the people who are on to get off. There'll be plenty of time to board when they're finished. Don't stand on the left of the escalator. If you're standing, you should stay to the right. This gives people room on the left to run past you if they're in a hurry. Don't be loud on public transportation. Maybe we Americans are just a tad hard of hearing due to those vast expanses we always have to yell across. Hey, you wanna get dinner? Where should we go? But we're just louder than really anyone else. Take your cues from the checks and keep your voices at about the same level or off until you get off of public transportation. Don't get in the way of trams. They will run you over. And no one will blink an eye at your mangled body lying on the cobblestone street. Before we move on, I want to thank this week's sponsor, NordVPN, who has an important tip for all you travelers. Don't leave home this summer without NordVPN on all your devices. Now, I know we're all a little rusty at this travel thing, but while you're working to secure your payment cards and your passport and even your health, don't forget to secure your devices especially when connecting to public Wi-Fi at airports and train stations and coffee shops. NordVPN protects you from bad actors who are trying to access your internet traffic. 
And even though you're traveling thousands of kilometers from home, you shouldn't have to miss your favorite cereals or sporting events. When I go back to the US this summer, I'll use NordVPN so I can keep up with my favorite Czech films and serials, and I won't miss the hometown coverage of the Czech athletes competing in the Olympics. And some more obscure sports like sport climbing and table tennis and modern pentathlon. Have you heard of this? Google it immediately. It's insane. If you're traveling abroad this summer, go to the link below and enter the code DREAMPROG at checkout to get a two-year plan with a bonus gift for a huge discount. When you do, you help me support this channel so I can keep bringing you more videos. Okay, back to your trip to Prague. Don't be offended if you don't get American-style customer service. The shopkeepers didn't go to finishing school and the waitresses don't have time to ask you about how your visit was or hear what museums you've been to that day. You probably won't get a smile, but you'll definitely get a fresh half liter of beer as soon as you sit down. And which would you prefer? Don't ask if a place takes euros. The Czech currency is the Czech crown. They're very pretty. They can buy you a lot of beer. If you're in an establishment that accepts euros, you're probably overpaying. Don't go to a traditional Czech restaurant and ask for the vegetarian menu. There are plenty of great vegetarian restaurants in Prague, but traditional Czech food is not vegetarian. So you'll have to choose between a bowl of diced tomatoes and the fried cheese, which is actually quite good. Don't order a cocktail at a Czech pub. You'll stand out as a tourist. It probably won't be good. It'll be expensive and you'll be missing out on the world famous Czech beer. This is not your dad's lager. Also, don't drink only the beer. Check out my video about Czech liqueurs, Czech soda, and Moravian wine. If you wanna try some of these, there are plenty of wine bars and cocktail bars in Prague to choose from. Don't ask for less foam on your beer. The Czech bartenders are not trying to cheat you. The foam is where all the nutrients are. And there's nothing sexier than a man with a good foam. Don't drink before you toast, don't clink glasses without looking in each person's eye, and don't pour the dregs of an old beer into a new beer. Don't say you like German beer better. This will only tell the Czech girl you're trying to impress that you have awful taste. Don't drink more than you can handle. A Czech grandmother can probably drink you under the table, so don't try to keep up with her. Czechs have been drinking since a very young age, and they don't really pound beers like frat boys. If you see someone making a drunk fool of themselves, it's probably a tourist. You don't wanna be that guy. Don't modify your dinner order. A French chef might be offended that you dream of changing his culinary creation, but a Czech chef would just be irritated because he'd prepared the exact right amount of dumplings for the exact right amount of duck breasts, and your order is screwing with his inventory. Don't summon the server by raising your hand or calling out to him or her. Um, try to make eye contact instead. Don't ask for the bill in a restaurant before you're ready to pay. When you ask for the bill, the server expects to come to your table and do the transaction at that time. Wait until you're ready to leave and then request the bill. If you're in a large group, don't try to split the bill yourself. Forgo the math and simply ask the server if you can pay separately or zvlášť. He or she will ask you to come up to the register and you simply tell them what you ordered and they will charge you separately. Don't only hang out in the city center. Prague was so adorable, we saw the entire city in one day. No, you didn't. And you probably didn't see many checks either. Most of the locals don't hang out in the city center for leisure activities. Try to explore some of Prague's other neighborhoods. You're gonna find cheaper prices, better food, more parks, and you might even see a real check in the wild. Don't only hang out in Prague. You can take a train or a luxury bus right from the center of Prague to many other places like Kutna Hora, Chesky Krumlov, Pilsen, or even Brno if you're feeling the burn. Don't listen to the Praguers. Brno is Brno, Brno. Brno is just as fun as Prague, but with less tourists. 
So be adventurous and hop on the train for a day or an overnight excursion. Don't buy a trdelnik for an Instagram shot and then leave half of it in the trash can. Instead, go for a more authentic Czech pastry, like a kolač from a Czech bakery called a pekarštví. Don't miss the farmer's markets. There are some practically every day of the week, and it's a great place to sample some of the delicacies that Czechia has to offer. Don't gossip in English in public. Although you might think you're on a different planet, many Czechs understand English, especially in Prague. So if you're dying to tell your wife that you think Yager's sitting at the table behind you, just whisper it. Don't miss an opportunity to speak with the locals. Learning a few Czech phrases will get you really far with your Airbnb host or the shopkeeper, and you might even get a smile out of your waitress. So few tourists make any attempt to speak Czech, so the ones who do really stand out. Now that you know exactly what not to do in this country, I hope you're excited to book your ticket and we look forward to seeing you soon. Tak uvidíme se příští týden. Ahoj!